Hey, this is Bob TV, Freedom of Fire. How are you doing today? I want to talk about something uh, very important. Something that has, have to hap that has to happen. It's, go it's coming up less than a, a year and a half now. Well, in, in, uh, in under two years, we got another election coming up. We got to get these local state and U.S. Senate changed over. The Democrats sucked so bad, ran that horrible candidate known as Hillary Clinton, that it affected the down ticket. The Republicans end up taking the House and end up taking the Senate and the presidency, which gives them the keys to the kingdom. If they win a few more seats, they can get a filib proof, filibuster proof Congress. That is something that we as progressives, with a little conservatism in him, we cannot afford for that to happen. We cannot allow the Republicans to get a filibuster proof majority in 2018. We just can't do it. If they do, they can do whatever they want. They can initiate slavery, even though it's unconstitutional. They could try to pass. They can actually pass that. Why? Because they got the majority. They can roll back a whole bunch of stuff. They can cut food stamps. They can cut housing programs. And they're going to have to leave it to the state. Thank God I live in New York because they, they, New York is on the cuffs and in the forefront of everything. You know, so they're not going to have that kind of stuff. But they can do that. So I'm telling Democrats, independents, and who Republicans who um, really, really struggling. We have to take our party hats off, man. We got to stop talking about Democrats suck, Greens suck, uh, screw Bernie. Let me tell you something. I came from I came paying for Bernie harder than I did for Obama. People to tell you. Bust my behind out there. I, I broke up with a beautiful, wonderful, sweet girl because she just couldn't understand that you got to wait, baby. It's campaign season. You got to be patient. If you got some guts and you really want to be with me, I'm going to see it. Because in the next three months, I may not be communicating with you but once a week. I may not be seeing you but once a month or once every two months because it is campaign season and we got balls to the walls. It's grind time. I ain't got time for all that romance stuff because we got to get this man in office. We'll romance later. I lost a relationship over that. So I am not playing with this thing. Now, I myself was thinking about running for office for the local community board. And I was thinking about what party I want to run. Well, do I want to run as a progressive Democrat? Do I want to run as a Green? Or do I want to run as a new Republican? Because I, I got a lot of conservative values in me. This should be a new Republican. Because the Democrats, the Democratic corporate elite are now really new Republicans. They need to be rep a progressive type of Republican. But let me get back on this. If we don't stop bickering against the Greens, against the Democrats, against the Libertarians, whatever, what's going to cause this filibuster proof majority is these freaking party hats. This is not the time for partisan. Let me say it slow. This is not time for parties, son. <laughs> 2018, we can't be partisan. The progressive caucus, the progressive coalition has to take their hats off and come together as one. We're going to have to get along with the progressive Bernie Kratz because pretty much the progressive Bernie Kratz, the Democrats are so scared of the Bernie Kratz that they're kissing Bernie Sanders behind, so-called making them leader outreach ministry. They're just using them to get what they want. I'm hoping he wake up and realize, oh, but I do believe that he know he's being used and he's using them. You ever you ever had that brothers? You know, you know, you know, she's trying to get money from you, but you trying to get something from her. Y'all using each other. That's what Bernie is doing with the um, Democratic Party. You know, they're trying to pimp him, but he's trying to pimp them and change change the structure of the organization without him 
They have nothing. They have no chance of winning. So they, they better pretty much listen to what he's saying. Now, for you Green Party people and things like that, I know you're upset that he didn't, he didn't contest like you thought he should. You got to understand there's rules and regulation that can lock you up or pretty much um, in your career as a politician. And making that move at that time may have been a bad decision. And making a move that most people may not like may have been the best decision. Because had he done that, he wouldn't have been able to get no traction as an independent, no real traction. It's gonna, listen, it's gonna, let's tell the truth. It's going to take some time to build up the independent party, and that's what we're doing. We're going to build up the Green Party. But is the Green Party going to overlap the Democratic Party in two years? No. Much as we want it to, no. Now, the Democratic, is, the Democratic Party is hemorrhaging itself. Half of it want to continue to be like Hillary Clinton, this stale, old school, kissing corporate behind politician, when the new breed is trying to help the people in the communities. And the reason Trump won is because he took Bernie Sanders' message and ran on that, and Hillary still started talking this whole other crap. All she talked about was how bad Trump was, and Trump said, I'm bringing back jobs. I'm going to um, get rid of TPP. The things that people wanted to hear, Trump was talking their language. Even the black community. He had something to say to the black community and got 20% of the black vote. We got to stop this now. We got two years to see what Trump is going to do in these two years. In the meantime, we got to work hard. We have to collaborate. We have to come together. We have to take off our freaking party hats and be one big voting block called a progressive coalition or progressives. We can't think progressive green, progressive um, yellow, progressive uh, Democrats. We can't think that way. All we can do is think progressive. So, for those who bad mouth from Bernie Sanders when he going toe to toe with Trump, stop. Because you're not doing it. He's in the Senate floor. He's in a position to um, go toe to toe with him. We're out here. Yes, our voice do count, but we got to come together in numbers so it can become loud. He's in that hall challenging Trump, calling him out, pulling his punk card. Asking them, look, are you going to lie, Doc? You said all these things. You, uh, were you lying or were you just trying to pander to get votes? Are you that kind of politician? Are you just like um, Hillary Clinton? So he's out there doing the deed. So I'm not going to talk bad about him. And I don't care who you are. If you're going to do something, I don't care what your past was. If you're going to really bust your behind to help working class people, I'm going to support you. We need more people. Jill Stein got to stand up stronger. Ajamu Baraka got to stand up stronger and louder. They got to probably get together with Bernie as one progressive unit. And if Bernie shunned them, then somebody need to call him out for that. But we need to take these freaking party hats off. We need to become the biggest voting block in the world today called the progressive movement. And the progressives need to become the new Tea Party. The new Tea Party. That's what we have to become. The Tea Party scared the crap out of Republicans. When people like Ted Cruz and those guys came out and, and, and um, um, uh, your boy in Texas, um, when they came out and they say there was the new Republicans called the Tea Party, we're going to primary you if you don't do this. That shook up the old school Republicans. That's what need to happen in the Democratic Party or in any other party. We need to shake them up. We need to become the progressive movement, the new type of Tea Party that's going to help out and fight for the working class. If you don't take those party hats off, we're going to get creamed in 2018. They're going to get a filibuster proof majority. They're going to pass everything in the world, including uh, drink booty snot. Every American got to drink booty snot. If not, you're going to jail. I know that sounds crazy. But I'm just letting you know they can pass something crazy. And it'll be all on fault because we allowed the, them to get a filler proof majority. And we're also going to set up another four years for Trump. Do you want Trump for eight years? Come on, Doc. Wake up. Green, I love you. 
I voted green for the president, but we still got work to do. In the meantime, we got elections coming up in 2018. We need to become the uh, progressive Democrats. They're trying to smother you in the Democratic Party. They're trying to get rid of you. Yeah, they're kissing Bernie butt because they know how powerful Bernie is. He's the most powerful man in that party now as an independent. More powerful than Chuck Schumer and all of them. He just need to wake up to it, even though I think he's playing them. If you're going to win the Senate back, if you're going to win the House, a representative, you're going to win the Senate. If we're going to win Congress back and get in the majority, we got to start rallying together as one. Progressive Democrats, Green, and any other progressive party coming together as one. Working party, the rent too damn high party. We need to come together as one as independents and collaborate. Collaborate. To go out there and come out there big and voting against Trump if Trump do something wrong. Now, I'm going to say something that's going to tick you off. If Trump do something good by the people, I'm going to support him. Yeah. You, you'll be, I would be a fool not to support him if he's doing good by people. But if he's doing wrong by people, I'm going to call him out. And he may not know me, but I got a voice. If somebody's doing good, you support them. I don't care who they are. People change. People may not be what you think they really are. You don't know somebody till you really get to know them. You don't know them by what somebody else perceived of them or what somebody else said or what you heard they said. You know them by spending time with them. Find out a lot of people are not what I thought they were when I spent time with them. I used to think people are all bougie. Find out they're the most less bougiest people in the world. Anyway, let me hurry up and finish. Please, this starts now. People are going to start campaigning January next year. People are preparing. They got the exploratory committee. They're, they're, they're preparing to run for office right now. They're trying to see what they can do and how they can help their community. And they're running for office. They're preparing right now. The day after the election, they started preparing for the next election. So what we have to do is we got to prepare. We got to start having monthly meetings. We got to start having workshops. We got to start going out and protest as one big block. All of us, progressive Democrat, we can, Greens, we can't pee, pee on and shun and put down progressive Democrat because they support Bernie. Can't do that. They're not your enemy. You're going to need them, especially if you do a dual ticket. Progressive Democrat, you can't look down on Green and shun down on Greens. They're your best friend right now. They add strength to your movement. It's one movement, y'all. Push back against Trump and push back against corporate Democrats and push back against corporate Republicans. One. If we don't understand that divided we fall, together we stand. We got to stop being divided. We have to come together as one big block of progressives, take off the freaking party hats so we can win 2018 and win 2020. If not, we're going to lose. They're going to get the majority. They're going to get a filibuster buster proof majority and they're going to pass everything under the sun and we're going to suffer for it. Wake the heck up progressive. Take your freaking party hats off and your allegiances off to a party leader and join together as one. That other stuff can come later on Bob TV. Peace.